Lori is uh, sipping some brew at World Traveler Coffee in Folsom. Hey, Lori. Yes, hello. I definitely could stay here a while. This place is beautiful. They've only been open for a couple of months. And the decor, I know you guys can appreciate it. Would you look okay, at these plush chairs and the beautiful colors? Everything that Georgette has done oh, wow. in here is Those just chairs. perfect. So I'm going to step okay. up, get on over to the coffee bar here to meet Georgette. Uh, thanks so much for having us this morning. Hi, thank you for coming. We okay, appreciate it. the decor. Where did, where did you get the inspiration for this place? Um, it was one of those things where when we walked in, uh, all the windows were covered, and I just felt like it needed something light and bright, and I wanted something a little different for coffee shops. I feel like most of them are a little darker, and, you know, we wanted to kind of do something a little different, so. Yeah, and you're doing a lot different here. Let's step back here and, and show people uh, the magic. Uh, so, World Traveler Coffee, not named that by accident. Correct. Uh, my husband is Troy, and he's also my partner. Hi, Troy. <laughs> he's the one who came up with the name. Uh, we've always really loved traveling and loved to explore different uh, regions, coffee regions. We've gone to a lot of different farms from all over the world and decided to kind of bring and unite that uh, spirit of travel and coffee together in a coffee shop. So, so what is the barista making right here? She's making one of our more popular items. It's a rose vanilla latte. Um, and, and a honey uh, lavender latte. I will definitely be trying that. Let's walk over here to the pour over and French press bar because this is another little section here that's kind of unique to what you do. And you have your list of Peru, Guatemala, World Blend, everything up on the wall. What is this little section here? So this is something where if a customer wants to really get the flavors of the coffee and really get the true natural characteristics of each coffee bean. Um, it allows it to be a little bit more potent than if you were to have oh. a drip coffee. Oh. So they can look at our menu bar. It changes. You know, every couple days we try to bring in new coffees from around the world and we make it right in front of them and they can just sit down and enjoy a coffee from, you know, Guatemala, Ethiopia, Mexico. Um, and we try to make it in a really pretty presentation so when they're sitting, sitting here they feel like, you know, they're getting the full, full... Uh, flavor of what it's like to be in some of these regions. Well, everything in this place is so pretty. So we're going to stick around for the nine o'clock hour. They've also added pastries and a new menu. So we're going to check that out coming up at nine o'clock. But isn't this place gorgeous? I love it. Is. It is. It's a good point about it being so bright, Lori, because I feel like most coffee shops are like a pottery barn and a restoration hardware got together and had a kid. Yeah. <laughs> wow.